What was I doing here again? Oh, holy shit, wolves! Wow, I took that guy apart. I'm fucking, I'm fucking putting out a tutorial on disassembling wolves over here. Okay, this is fine. Fellas, howdy. Oh, that was fucking sweet. Oh, okay, cool. Followed by a sequence of decidedly not sweet events. Why is there a town hall meeting taking place in this room held by wolves? <laughs> What's the matter, wolves? Can't touch me atop my barricade of chairs. You see, that's what separates us from the beasts. You, you wolves may have your fangs and claws, but us humans, we have our smarts. We have our... I'm stuck. I'm, uh, I'm stuck. I can't, I can't move. All right, this time, we're gonna do things the sneaky way. God, why? God, why? This person appears to be near death. To remove them from the cross would kill them. What about that? Would that kill them? Prim is a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. What the hell is this place? Did, did I- did I get him? Okay. Holy shit, just one last rat. Here we go. You know what? Fuck this cave. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Hey, Malcolm. Why are you three feet tall? Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. Oh, damn, this guy gave up on being an NPC, like, halfway through his introduction. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Sunset Sarsaparilla Bottles, huh? That is the coolest thing I have ever seen. I love that they named this whole town after this busted-up sign. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. I will not. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? God, what a guy. What a stand-up gentleman. The only people who've been nice, charming, and enthusiastic towards me in this game have been fucking robots. Is there like a robot supremacist run I can do? Everybody else sucks. Imagine being rude to this man. Imagine being that evil. I could play this game a thousand times, and this is a dialogue option I would never see the outcome of. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. There's something so existentially sad about seeing a woman who just wants to be a polite front desk worker in the middle of the apocalypse, right? Like, this woman just rocked me with such a wave of depression. It's like she's desperately trying to maintain some, some shred of humanity in this hellscape. It's just so, like, heartbreaking to see 90% of the population be, like, raiders and murderers and thieves, and this woman wakes up in the morning, walks down to the front desk, and puts on a smile for people. I don't know why, this, like, first bit of dialogue just really moved me. It's just so, like, human. I heard if you slip a grenade into people's pockets, they'll explode. Oh, what the hell? Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. I can do what? Let's go!
He might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Pfft, you're telling me, sister. Oh my god, why are some of the dialogue options so mean? Who would want to be this cruel to such a nice woman? I heard if you shoot someone in the head at point blank range, it'll explode. There. Why does nothing work out for me? I'm out of here! I gained karma? What the hell have you been up to, lady? Why does everybody here want you dead? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Did you... Did you kill his wife, Manny? Manny, did you kill his wife? You can tell me, Manny, come on. What's said in the dinosaur's mouth stays in the dinosaur's mouth. Did you kill her? Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas, me and my cousins. We were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened and I couldn't handle it anymore. So I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Sounds like a real bitch, Manny. Sounds like she'd be better off dead, Manny. Did you do it? Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Still a few left? Jeannie had like a dozen on her desk. Is that why nobody around here likes her? Because she's hoarding all the dino figurines? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. How could that possibly be true? Who in the whole of this godforsaken desert wasteland is buying dinosaur figurines from you? Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. Yeah, I fucking bet. A few left? Billy, you've got a thousand of these things in stock. Where are you keeping all of these figurines? Oh my god. Here, you nasty bitch, I brought you another dinosaur. Holy shit, that animation was crazy. Did you see the way she- Oh, she's fighting back this time! Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. Wow, this woman's got a great attitude considering I just broke into her hotel room. Oh, please don't kill me. Yeah, see, now this is the reaction I was expecting. Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have, uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. Really handling the situation delicately, huh? I might have relieved him of a few of his caps, that's all. Also, I porked his daughter sloppy style. Oh, so that was bad, but killing genies fine? Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Confound it, no bark, you've done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. All right, stranger, you got me. What do you want to know? Immediately started talking. I didn't even have to run a speech check on him. I don't care what you do to me, I'll never talk. I ain't gonna tell you nothing about the things I know. Oh God, I told him I knew things. Oh, no bark, how are you gonna get yourself out of this one? All right, I'll talk, but I'll only tell you everything. I come face to face with the Chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest Chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell anyways, since when he come up to me, he was invisible. No, Bark, I'm gonna be honest. I am hardly keeping up with whatever the hell it is you're talking about. The man just told me about an invisible chupacabra with machine guns for hands. Hasn't this question already been answered? Hey there. Been to the top of the dino yet? Yeah, dude, it was fucking sweet. Open door to No Bark Shack. Why did I think this wouldn't be horrifying? Bye. Between you and me, I don't think she studied at an accredited institution. 
What, are you just gonna take that from it? Fuck! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. Also, let me know what other games you'd like to see me cover in this sort of format in the future, and I will see you guys next time.